Hi, my name is Brigitte Stevenson and I'm the new curator over at the Sanford Museum. And guys, look at this beautiful building behind me. It was originally the Hotel Forest Lake and I am so excited to show you it today. So why don't we take a little tour? Look, we're inside. This is a beautiful staircase. Like, look at this woodwork, it's fantastic. Well, I told you I was gonna tell you a little bit about the history, so might as well. This hotel opened in 1926, and it was the height of luxury. 158 rooms with its own bathroom, as well as two dining rooms and a ballroom. This was the place to go. Well, it was supposed to be the place to go. You see, it kind of had a low attendance in the beginning because, well, we were hit with the Great Depression before everybody else. The state of Florida had a land boom and that bubble bursted right before the Great Depression. So people weren't coming because of that reason. And then not only that, well, this was called the Hotel Forest Lake. It was named after a specific person. He was a mayor. And not only that, he was a president of a bank. And it also turned out he was embezzling money, a lot of it. So much so, it bankrupted the town. And so in 1928, the Hotel Forest Lake closed its doors. And for a while, it went from manager to manager, and it looked like it was going to suffer. Well, we're in the ballroom here. Isn't it marvelous? Well, I was telling you last time, the hotel had a period where it looked like it wasn't going to make it. and. That seemed to be the case up until 1934, when a man named William Kirchhoff Jr. decided to purchase this hotel and rebrand it as the Mayfair Hotel, a name that kind of still sticks with it to this day. Now, he was pretty thrifty. He decided to redecorate, and how he did that is he would travel throughout the country and find all sorts of furniture to put into here. And this made it a hit. People from all over the country wanting to escape brutal winters decided to come here and have their Florida vacation, fun in the sun. After all, this hotel did have a pool and it was right by the lake and had every amenity that you can dream of. Well, it even did its effort during World War II. Um, the government temporarily took a hold of it because we were building a naval air station and those men needed a place to stay for a short bit. and. The hotel stepped up and became really the place where a lot of men first came here before they learned how to fly. The building even has one of the original signs when it was the Forest Lake Hotel. And look at only two dollars to stay. Oh my gosh, what a deal. And look, a bath in every room. What a cool piece of history. In 1947, William Kirchhoff decided to sell the hotel and he sold it to the New York Giants. Well, now they're called the San Francisco Giants, but at the time, they were the New York Giants. The owner, Horace Stoneham, had a vision for this place. You see, his men were already coming to Sanford to do field training. Field training basically allows the men to train longer throughout the year. See, up north it gets really cold, and you can't really play baseball throughout the whole year, but in Florida during the winter, it's the perfect weather to do training. So his idea was to have the men stay here while they were doing training, and then the other half of the year really make this a luxurious experience. Like, why wouldn't you wanna stay at the hotel where the Major League Baseball players are staying at? Now come with me in this really cool 1920s elevator. Come on in. Welcome to one of the rooms that you would have stayed in in the Mayfair Hotel. Countless of people have been in this room, probably including some of those baseball players I was telling you about. Now, this is luxury. So not only do you have this room, but you have your own walk-in closet and, as advertised, your own bathroom. And look at that, it even has a bathtub in there. I know me, I love taking a good soak when I'm on vacation. Now when the New York Giants had this building, 
they changed the name yet again to the Mayfair Inn. And it was really prosperous here. There were film premieres, and it was even rumored that Al Capone once stayed here. So all sorts of different people came here. But in the 60s, it was sold to be the Sanford Naval Academy. This was an all boys school that instilled military teaching to the young men to kind of get them into shape and be kind of responsible young men. Now, you're gonna always see a little bit when people aren't responsible young men. We have a couple of fun graffiti that is all over this building showing how much love that was put into living here. Later on, the Nia Tribes Mission decided to move in here. They're a missionary group that goes all over the country trying to spread Christianity to all languages of the world. Now they bought this place and this kind of became its major hub. Uh, people would come here and live in here and also train here when they would go overseas. Now they had it for quite a period of time and in 2017 decided to sell it. Now it's owned by Key Performance Hospitality. This is the company that is hoping to restore it back to a hotel. It's gonna have some changes, but I know I am really excited to see this building at its glory again. Come on guys, let's go see some more rooms. It's really cool. Now you have to remember where this hotel is located. When we came in through the front way, that was on First Street, a major street in Stanford. But you have to remember, this had a direct view of the lake and still does. Look at guys, look at this view. I wanna show you another thing. This is really kind of cool. These are the original gears for the dumbwaiter. Now, that elevator that I showed you, that brought people up, but this brought all sorts of luggage and things up. After all, it's three flights of stairs. That would be really difficult. What's cool about it is that it's a bit of history that's still in this building. Unfortunately, it's not in working condition. They had to block it off for fire reasons, but it still shows a little bit of its character. I just think it's really neat. Thank you for coming with me on this tour of this fantastic building. I want to give a special thank you to Key Performance Hospitality for letting us in this wonderful building. We're excited about this building's future, but if you ever want to know more about its past, please come over to the Sanford Museum. We have all sorts of news articles and artifacts relating to the hotel. We would love to see you there. We're open Tuesdays through Saturdays, nine to five, and we're free. Doesn't get much better than that. So we hope to see you there. Bye.